Love does trump hate, but only when love bothers to show up, when love comes walking in, <laughs> you know, as if this is some sort of a Van Halen song. But I want to touch upon the fact that there are good men and women on this planet. The problem is the mind control and the social engineering and the peer pressure control mechanisms, which includes internet memes. And so as far as I'm concerned, you don't have a professor of uh, social media psyops like you do Alex Ansari uh, when you look at the rest of the world. So I think there's actually a lot that I have to offer the world of uh, mental health. Um, I feel like I'm a specialist in um, behavioral problems that are taking place with the, uh, the people of the world. My 15 years of activism and using uh, Portland, Oregon as somewhat of a microcosm for the larger world, even talking about like the current events, like for example, and I'll, I'll, I'll say this again, I've said this in the past, um, the whole punch a Nazi thing and the whole violence against the right that's been popularized is unfortunately one of the things that's created the problem that we're seeing now in Portland, Oregon and what you would call the backlash. That's why immediately when there were people that were acting violent against Trump supporters, I denounced it. Immediately as soon as Trump was elected, I denounced violence against Trump supporters as someone that's not with either side, but on my side and the side of the human species. And so if you're on the side of the human species, you can't be a Democrat or Republican because you see through the bullshit that the Democrats and Republicans are bringing us, moving the conversation forward. So there's a lot of men and women that are brainwashed and most people accept the program that's given to them. And most people are programmed with a default psychological software to attack the people that would um, educate them to a certain level, to a level of unplugging. And this is also why I need to accept that there's only going to be 100 viewers per video. But what I'm noticing is support from some of you in the audience space that get it. And I want to go deeper into some of my subject matter without it being shared with the wrong people or people that don't even deserve to even hear it. I mean, we're now even going to take it to that level. We're not yet at the level in which I'm moving everything over to a subscription-based service. It's more like I've seen the right on the wall and there's certain content that absolutely probably shouldn't be on this side of things. And there should be special reports that are basically shared in secret as if we're our own uh, secret society based in truth. But so much of the solution would be about restoring true romance. And right now, uh, it's like even too controversial to really try to wake up even women uh, on the internet, uh, let alone the men that are territorial and angry and not understanding that people like myself and others haven't seen action in a great number of years. These have to do with politics. It has to do with uh, the consensus realities that are being created. And so we're actually living a very unnatural world uh, or living very unnatural in this world. And it may be natural for me to live in the woods, share my philosophy uh, this way, as opposed to dealing with the angry mobs in a physical location like Portland. And I think that things happen for a reason, that I wasn't meant to stay in Portland, even if it's emotional to see these things take place. We need people like Eli and others. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not a big fan of the others that are in Portland. Um, but I'm not going to attack them. And I have my reasons. I don't need to air those reasons here. Um, we need to have more people step up to the plate in not only in Portland, but other re regions to create that accountability, to create that dialogue, to be willing to take the risks, to be brave enough and to be man enough to say, hey, you know, certain things may go down, um, but somebody has to be willing to be that person to bring something to the light. From the darkness into the light. A person cannot unhear something once they've heard it. You know the real reason why they try to uh, suppress and oppress certain voices like mine through algorithms. Instead of just killing us, they just alter the algorithm. Yeah, 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 Alex, say whatever you want to say, you know, uh, but because you said certain things, you're only going to reach certain people or, or the people that you are going to reach, you're only going to be able to retain so many of them because the programming that they're receiving. 
at least in Portland in some earlier days, I knew what it was like to have some sort of a social circle because of some of the things that I was discussing, but it was still isolating. And I have to remind myself, hey, Alex, even if you, you know, want to look back at like, you know, the good old days or the golden years, um, they really are nowhere to be found. I had to move around a lot. No choice of my own as a child. So there was a lot of uh, forced isolation. And um, that's just the reality of it. Oh, you can almost see my my breath. <sighs> oh, yeah, there it goes. <sighs> wow. <sighs> First time for that. So, yes, as uh, we are in uh, record low temperatures and uh, mountain uh, snowstorms, it's never been actually colder in terms of society. And there was a time, by the way, like 15 years ago, where it was like wide open to talk about America spelled with three Ks instead of one C, and people were listening. Now they're like rebranding that to be anti-white. And when you have such a massive establishment tech giant narrative that's acting like it's SJW or acting like it's uh, sympathetic to left causes, but it's really just creating a left versus right civil war while amping up rhetoric on both sides. That's a dangerous scenario. The, the stage is set for war. And more people should be focused on, instead of the Norse mythos Ragnarok scenario where the world freezes over and the sun dies, more people should be more interested in bringing back to life the sun within their own solar plexus, their own solar plexus. As they predict ice ages and become colder as people, as the temperature grows colder, that's some freaky shit. We're witnessing that. As the cosmic rays come and the grand solar minimum arrives, here we have all these cruel human beings with no feelings for other human beings. Is there a correlation between the cosmic rays and what we're seeing with human psychology? These are things to ask ourselves. So the answer truly is a new renaissance of romance and camaraderie between men and women. And that doesn't mean that you are being guilt tripped as someone that watches my channel or may donate. I know that it's safer for some of you to donate and, and keep a distance for your own safety. I would never want anything bad to happen, uh, including psychic attack to the men and women that watch my channel. And I'm here to let you know, I haven't let you know in a couple of months, some of you are new viewers, that because of the high level nature of what I talk about, you need to be at a really strong place, not already being a TI, for example, and or other uh, psychological issues and spiritual warfare issues, unless you're at a certain level of being able to keep it back. Um, and there's a lot of people out there that are being heavily targeted because of their bloodline, because of their knowledge, because of some of the things that they know. But ultimately, a guy like me is really easy to fuck with. And a lot of people don't understand that. Um, and there could be ways in which people like me easily have their heart broken. We can easily be, and I've alluded to this, lured across the nation, you know, in search of friends and family, if you will, more so like friends that would be like family. And we found ourselves in situations where there's not even a room for us to stay in. We've asked ourselves, you know, I've asked myself, well, then is the answer then to stop traveling then? and trying to find this surrogate family where we're going to start around alternative media network. And is it really about hunkering down for the long winter? And we're not just talking about the weather and the season. We're talking about like the long emergency that's taking place within society. This is the real emergency. The real conspiracy isn't so much or just limited to the Illuminati ivory towers. It's the people allowing the programming to take place allowing their sexuality to be adulterated. We as males and females on the planet of various species have had various forces as well as just straight up chemicals toxify our environments, toxify our air, toxify our rivers, toxify our realities. And that's what's taking place here. I mean, we are on a larger level, not just those that are perceivably overtly biracial and mixed race. We're all in a genetically engineered uh, program. If only those people that were angry with Monsanto, uh, if only their same rage towards a corporation was actually redirected to those systems of control that allow systems like Monsanto to exist and allow millions to die as literally humans are genetically modified and terraformed.
Okay, let's get rid of these natural earth bloodlines, some say. Let's bring this back. And if somebody feels a reaction that's not so good, like fear, and they express their fear, let's just call them crazy. And so, you know, there's a lot of people out there that are fake hippies. They're fake activists. They're fake New Agers. And there's ways in which we can see through the world's physics where people place their values. Now, there's nothing wrong with you or I on a level looking at a woman and going, wow, look at that beautiful blonde, long hair. Look at those beautiful blue eyes. But when we obsess on placing that beautiful woman that's in the form of someone like, you know, um, some girl or my mother or someone else. Um, when we place certain people above others, and this world is returning to a certain type of flesh worship of certain types, even other women that may not look like tens may be suppressed as well. It's not necessarily about just men being left out in the streets. It's about the women that suffer as well. When you have such extreme haughty worship, and when we look at the past, we see the natural haughty worship, but it was a little bit more diverse as far as what was considered beautiful. You have like the traditional Victorian beautiful look as well. And some of those looks aren't really considered as beautiful today. So there are certain women that I see and they exemplify like even like a natural European woman, even within like the box of racial, but see even their own fellow people may not recognize that they have value, even if they're not a 10 that's using their body and their, you know, um, their looks to get them further. And there are a lot of people that do that in today's day and age. And so it's going to be other people out there that are also going through the experience of not being desired as much because of the lustful nature of this world. Let me give an example. There's a certain YouTuber, right? And um, he's talked about the Archons and he has some decent stuff. And he recently brought someone on that apparently he's been talking to since she was a minor, which is odd enough in another country. And that's great that he's, you know, propping her up, but she's outrageously beautiful. And some of the things that she's talking about are beginner level topics, but she goes from 50 viewers a video to hundred to 150 to 200 to 250. Before you know it, that, that young lady, and that's great. But, um, before you know it, she'll be off and running and she will have a large channel. And some of us will never see her level of growth in 20 years because we're not drawing that type of crowd because we're not playing that role. And some people really need that. And this world does need more uh, women of physical beauty speaking some level of truth. But when you look between the lines and you look long term, do you ever hear from some of these women that are held up about the things that are happening to other men and women around the world? Or do they know within their own programming that if they were to do that, that they could put a monkey wrench in their whole channel? That they could even be called anti-white by those men and women that are worshiping their beauty and they have, they have an option to make or, or, or decision to make. You know, either they ride the train and they may just simply be unaware, but how could people claim that they're intuitive and channeling is not the right word, but to be at a level of accessing truth from within, how can people be in a level of advisorship with regards to the realm of the world of spirit, unless they talk about how in this fallen world, there are people that are being unjustly oppressed. And so sometimes I wonder if these talks about ascension and OBEs are really buzzwords for people to distract from talking about the real spiritual warfare in the real physical reality. So keep this in mind that me attempting to help you, right, and your genetics evolve beyond the true barbaric form. Barbaric form would be no empathy. Barbaric form would be kill mole mentality. Barbaric form would be illusions of separation. For example, if I'm talking to you about millions of people being sacrificed, oh, that doesn't apply to me. We're over here in this other class. These are like old world ways of thinking, like going back a thousand years to the old dark ages of Europe. If you're to be an actual advanced person, the 21st century, that's not actual barbarian, then you need to be able to realize that these talking points that are being catapulted by Fox News, uh, Laura Ingram, others, not only are those the things that are actually demonizing white people, 
That's the type of stuff that's taking some of us or elements of our society back to like a Mississippi burning reality where you can literally, and I recommend you do, you can watch it on Hulu or Voodoo, watch Mississippi burning. I'm sure you can find it somewhere for free if you don't want to pay for it. My friend just gave me a login for Hulu, so I watched it. That's like when, when you see or hear the things that were said then, and that's not like a lipped hard movie that was made to attack Trump. I believe that Mississippi burning came out in the 80s. It's the actions of those today that are literally almost like playing out the script line of the movie Mississippi Burning. Everything that was said about those Negroes being said today about the less white world and with a straight face, as if somehow the world, China, Russia, others, are going to look at America and America's children, America's white children uh, in the future and go, yeah, we're on your side. Instead, yes, I think that they have used elements of our society to make us all look bad. And when you when you look at the idea that sentiments I just said make us all look bad, that would include like all Americans, including those that are non-whites. Because if you pay close attention to YouTube being demonized by the Wall Street Journal because of conspiracy theories, if you're able to wrap your mind around this, that we're being demonized, that YouTube's going to stop suggesting conspiracy theory videos, at least on the front, right? This is really about shutting down independent thought. This is really about censorship. This is really about them for a number of years with the tech giants help creating radical gangs online and then showing the rest of the world on the left. See, 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 look at all these radical gangs. Look at Gab. Look at all these secret militia online social media groups where all the leaders have to do is just put out or publish the list of the targets and then it's open season. Right now we're at that point. And right now we're at that point to where I can go online and look for female truthers that are talking about this, talking about the other women that spent nine months out of their life to bring a baby into this world, only to watch their baby's head explode as a result of bombs being dropped in their country. Where are the women on a larger scale? Because the real good women of this world appreciate men like Alex Ansari that are saying it like it is. Not getting involved in MGTOW, talking points, beating up on women, just, oh, it feels good, R, R, R. And see, that path could have baited me in if I was accepted by more of the MGTOW crowd. I was actually called rat face, and other racial slurs were directed at me from elements of the alt-right that infected MGTOW. And then I saw really up close and personal, my grievances or my pain is a very great deal, a great deal different than theirs. And instead of misogyny being the direction I'm going in, I want to warn as many women that can actually hear my, my voice in English, that there is a human trafficking epidemic coming to the United States, and we're going to see these things unfold after the collapse. And I'm on record for over 10 years trying to warn you. And so as I actually literally see in real time more reports about human trafficking uh, attempts, um, things of that nature, more people demonizing the men and women of Portland, Oregon, calling for their downfall, elements of the far right. I see them as a part of this, not defenders. They aren't Norse mythos defenders of the supposed pure bloodlines. Absolutely not. They are people that are setting up your people for a fall. Alex Ansari, in the end, would be known in the future by future generations as one of the few that would accurately warn you about the accurate threats that are coming. But yet I would still live in isolation. As those of you invest in me financially, Natasha, thank you so much for your donation. Eli, thank you. Patrick, thank you. Mom, thank you. Jared, thank you. Others, Eric, Thank you. And sometimes it's $5. Sometimes it's $1. Um, if someone wants to sign up, welcome Kyle. It's signed up on Patreon, right? It's like, I will expand. I will expand what I'm doing. But I also need to share the challenges that I face. That's also part of my own talk therapy. And I think it's important that I do that because I feel like the videos that I'm creating now and the things that I'm going through now, I'm going to look back on. And there's going to be a whole generation of whites and non-whites that are going to be demonized by demons in the future because they were born. And some of them are going to be born with maybe a little bit more knowledge and information. And so whether they're white or non-white, even if they're white, they can still be attacked if they want to bring light and knowledge to this world. 
They'll be accused of having white guilt. They'll be accused of all these things. If they're not going to go along with the race war program, you will continue to see whites demonized by whites in ways that even non-whites aren't even attacking those whites. They will have like this white demonization card. Those people that are on the extreme far right, because there's left, there's right, there's far right, and there's far left. And what you're seeing right now in Portland, Oregon is far right. Pay attention now. Regular conservatives that are rational stay home. But also, here's what's concerning as well. Rational Democrats or independents that are not part of Antifa, not to demonize all of Antifa, but there should have never been like, a like okay, so if you're against the Trump administration, you're protesting, you're Antifa. Well, you can be against fascism and choose to stay out of a club because of elements that may join an anonymous club where people wear masks to create some sort of um, disturbance. You gotta understand, if you watch the OTB TV Alex Ansari, I'm criticizing Portlanders blocking traffic on cable TV. Some of you are just like right wingers that found me in recent years with no respect for right for what I will even call my heritage of knowledge that I've shared with the world for 15 years. But people would just prefer to see it as something that they would view from their political, their racial, or their religious enemy. This is madness. And at this ratio of going downwards, some of us only have so much time left on this planet. Unless there's a miracle. Unless we have a destiny in which the Almighty, not any one-eyed deities that are falsely calling themselves the All-Father, but the true creator beyond these things that flow down into our world with their genetic experiments and games. There is a story in the rocks in my backyard. I don't mean literally my backyard. I mean the state of Colorado, the rocks of Colorado. And there would be so many people. Rock, Colorado is going to play a role in the rise of the far right in the future. There are already organizations in the northern part of the state that are moving their operations to the next phase. As far as I'm concerned, they already own Southern Colorado and elements of the uh, certain regions. There are certain places where there's uh, Indian reservations. Uh, there are certain places where there are counties in which people are not allowed to live uh, on their own uh, land. And I will tell you now that as appalled as I was to see those actions in Costilla County, I feel like I also have a little bit of insight into not to agree with them, but a little bit of an insight into what maybe their concerns were. An idea of maybe too many people in one spot that may be of a particular element. And maybe they didn't. Maybe it was just simply land use codes. But I'm telling you, like, there are pockets of the nation that are right for the people within those regions to do those unthinkable acts to vulnerable community members. All they're waiting for is the event to go live, the next national emergency, to be blamed on their convenient enemies. And so those of you that would donate to me would play a role potentially, in my ability to evolve beyond living in a dangerous situation. And I believe that I am. I believe that I am vulnerable on more than one level. And emotionally and spiritually, I mean, there are actual side effects to long-term isolation from your own species and both sides of your bloodline. There are actual um, psychological issues that can happen to people that are isolated from the species. Uh, they can be held back from being all they can be. There can also be situations where um, people deliberately go into isolation and live in caves like people thousands of years ago, like Buddha Dharma, in order to access a deeper level of knowledge. And I'll tell you what, like that, that kind of hit me yesterday that I'm kind of living like someone would have lived. And I've talked about this before, but it hits me again. Like, no, no, this is not just like it is. That's what you're doing, Alex. That's what you're doing, Alex. It's a parallel reality. That's what's going to set you and your information away from every other human that's alive today that's living in the grid talking bullshit politics. I said, I'm, I'm tapping into a different stream of knowledge here. The problem or not the problem, the, the side effect that is, I'm also tapping a little bit deeper into the agenda of the dark side. And basically, you're getting the real leak project. Not a bunch of bullshit about melted snow and fucking fuck, 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 Bigfoot. 
fucking chasing shit that ain't even there in the skies. You're getting like a real leak project about what they're planning to do to our species. And uh, I believe that there is a reason why the evil, the demons of this world don't want diversity in genetics. And it's not about a superiority argument, but some of us are accessing deeper levels of DNA knowledge and information about what their agenda is for our species. They can't have that. They can't have that. Okay, because if there was a global wake up of babies that are being born that aren't going to go along with the program, like it could literally turn the whole tables. So it's always been in the agenda of the unseen realms to demonize the less pure babies that are now going to stream at an accelerated rate if they're not aborted and euthanized. And see, this is why, like, the anti abortion crowd seems to have no teeth, and why people that talk about abortion cry for the babies seem like nutters when they also don't acknowledge those millions overseas that are dying as a result of the foreign policy of Israel and the United States. I think in the end, people have a deeper allegiance to their own perception of ethnicity, uh, Israel, Zionism, and things of that nature than actually standing up against those paranormal influences. So I'm here to help you evolve beyond animal form. If you're not down with that, find another channel. You can find a channel that will tell you exactly what you want to hear from someone that looks exactly like you or someone that you just want to fuck really hard. And you can be filled with all in the knowledge and data that you will permit. Or you can have an Alex Hansery version, uncut, straight to the source. And I think that's where we need to continue to take this. Okay, And that's why I also, even though I love you on such a deep level, those of you that are regular good people, that... I can't allow my energy to be compromised in the YouTube comment section, even to hear your praise. I will encourage you of a certain level of adult maturity to investigate other ways of communicating, other ways of supporting, encouraging comments on other platforms like Patreon, going beyond the YouTube box, taking the things that I say seriously. We'll see you in the next video.